Hey, it's Spike and Guard here. And today I'm gonna to install a jacket bike rack on our Geo Pro. Here it is. It's a jacket bike rack, and um, sometimes when dealers order them, they order the geos with them on, you know, included in the in the package, and sometimes they didn't, and you could buy it aftermarket. Some people really enjoy these, and some people they don't have a bike, they don't need it, or maybe they don't want to keep their bikes out in the open, or maybe the tongue weight. There are different reasons why some people don't want them, and luckily for me. Uh, I put a request out on Facebook and I found somebody that had one that had no need for it and they they gave it to me so thank you very much I won't mention your name just out of uh, privacy but thank you for the, the donation and um, the only thing was that it didn't have because it came on his trailer his camper he didn't have the screws for it the bolts for it because when it comes standard on the um, with, without Without the bike rack, it comes with a bolt. Oh, let's see. So much stuff in the pockets. There we go. It comes with these three of these bolts. I took one off just to verify it was the right size. It's a 3 8 16 pitch thread. Uh, these were not as long as the proper ones. With the bike rack, you need a one and a half inch bolt, which makes it about a, a quarter inch longer, which just happens to be the thickness pretty much of the metal here. So I had to buy three of these bolts and they're 3 8 16 by one and a half inch serrated flange hex head bolts and they're grade five. Important to have grade five. So I've already got one removed. I'm gonna remove the other three. But before I do that, oh, look, Amazon's showing up. <coughs> Hi. Spike's greeting you. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Stop. So I got another package we'll look at. Yay. Um, where was it? Oh yeah. So the first thing I want to do is I have to take the three bolts. I'm gonna move this little foot here. Take this foot off because I have to take the out. Here we go. So and I'm going to make sure this is raised all the way up. It's all the way up, it's a, it's a lot easier to take it out. Okay. And like I said, I've already got one bolt taken out. Alright, so that's that. Quite a bit more. Okay. Oh, it's starting to warm up too. Cause I'm... It's getting hot to me too, and I'm just standing here. I have a feeling that if I do this, I might be able to get it done. So we're going to close my propane tanks. This is great. Okay. Do I need to hold it? Um, can you hand me the big rectangular thing? This thing, because it has three holes on it. It's pretty heavy for one-handed lifting. Okay, it just, okay. it's just going to set there, right? And then you put that back mm -hmm. on it. Somehow. <laughs> All right, so what I 
I couldn't turn it once it's in there, so I'm gonna get it turned before I put it in there. Just like it just won't fit. <laughs> it, it'll fit. I'm gonna do it from the back though. Yeah. And I can't get it from the, the front. Let me try it from the back. Okay, here we go. That's great. That cable bit longer. This would have been a lot easier job. <sighs> wow. Okay. So now all I gotta do is finish it. <laughs> um, but I should have. I could have showed you this before. But there's this right here. Is if your jack doesn't work, you can remove this plug take the bike rack out and you can get your socket down here. So if you manually have to do it, manually raise or lower your trailer tongue, you can do it by removing the bike rack and accessing it right there. But in the meantime, I'm going to start bolting this up with the proper bolts now. Five and then eight. Hmm, what's that? Wow, we got a mini bike. A mini bike with ape hangers. You know, it just doesn't get any better. We live in a great little town where you can see stuff like that. Where else can you see a mini bike going down the street with ape hangers? A lime green mini bike, even. Maybe Roswell, New Mexico. Yeah, probably Roswell, New Mexico. Okay, so let's see. That looks like it should be lined up. Just wanna make sure I get these started by hand so that they don't get cross-threaded because these are three pretty important bolts. That's why I think, why don't we upgrade to class eight someday? This is fine, this is what they recommend. Okay. He's just standing around. I think he's being scared by your creeper. That scares me too, Spike. Oh, poor Spike. He's trembling. This is just kind of cool out. Do you want to go inside, Spike? It is cold here. Six, 60 degrees. That's a lot for a little thin-furred fella. Yeah. Let's go inside, Spike. I'm going to put you inside. Okay. So that's good and tight. Yep, it feels great actually. All right, and uh, let's see. My next step is I can either put this in here like this, but I think my bikes might be a little close to the camper. So I can also use this one. You can leave the elbow off. Is that what that basically would be? Yes. So I'll put it on. Could you have this thing on the front side or does this have to be on the back side? I'm gonna give me more room on this side. I see. Yeah. And this bolt, by the way, is a uh, three quarter inch.
Could be. Watch the road. Watch the road. I think I hear that mini bike again. Oh, eh, it turned the other, the other way. Yeah. Okay. So I got that bolted on nice and tight. The whole apparatus is tight. And I got a little safety pin just in case it works its way out. Uh, as far as for up here, that one's tight. Next things are the bike racks. One faces forward and one faces rear. That's it? Yes and no. <laughs> okay, so I'm finished with my jacket bike rack install. You wanna see what it, takes, what it looks like? Come over and take a look at it. Here it is. I had it all completely installed. I tried to hang my bikes on it. My bikes don't work on it. They're, they're, they're just not the right shape for it. So I removed the whole thing and since it was a gift to me it's going to be a gift to somebody else um, they just gotta come pick it up in georgia so there it is it wasn't too bad of an installation except for that wire if that wire had been a little bit longer on the power jack it would have been very simple installation but i had to kind of finagle that but um, other than that it's not a real bad installation job to, to work to do it but the, the bike rack just didn't work for me. So, uh, probably put my bikes in the back of the pickup truck. So, which is not that bad either. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. And uh, I got a lot of other little videos I'm gonna be making for this. I got some other stuff to install for my, my new Geo Pro. So, uh, if you like the video, subscribe, give it a like, and I'll watch out for some new stuff coming up. Thanks everybody, take care, bye.